Sorry, Wizard Lizard, I didn't see you there. Oh, the Fizzy Fizzy Toy Show. Hi everyone, it's me, Miss Hands, and today Fizzy and Phoebe are on vacation. I actually sent them on vacation because I have a big surprise for them coming up. I'm setting up a classroom for them. And my specialty is science. I wanted to pop on here and take a quick challenge. The broom challenge. But I need to do it fast because only today will the gravitational pull make the broom stand up on its own. Wait a minute, is that true? <laughs> no, that's not true. In fact, the day that was supposed to be magical and the only day the broom could stand up on its own was yesterday. I missed it. So let's see if I can make it stand up today. That's right, I'm trying the broom challenge. What do you think, Wizard Lizard? Okay, first we're trying the big broom. Well, that was easy, ta-da! Okay, yes, I have it leaning against here. Let's see if I can make this stand up. Nope. So clearly I am having problems here, you guys. So maybe it was the gravitational pull or the way the planets were aligned. Why is this broom not standing up? Hmm, I think science can help us with this. So the broom has a low center of gravity just above the bristles. So we can get the bristles to act like a tripod. Then we can balance this and the broom will stand on its own. Let me give this another try. all on its own. Oh yeah, I got skills. The wizard lizard cannot believe his eyes. Okay, we have seen that this can work, but does it work with brooms of all sizes? Let's try a little broom. Here's our broom. And I'm about to amaze the wizard lizard. No, no, almost. <gasps> Ta-da! It's standing all on its own. Somebody is seriously impressed. So there you go, it had nothing to do with the gravitational pull or how the planets were aligned at a certain point in time. You can take the broom challenge any day of the year. So have fun trying it out. And guys, I'll see you in the next video.